House Democrats just wrapped up a news conference, this one outlining their legislative priorities for this year's session. So let's go to State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien live at the Capitol to explain what we learned. Chris? Hey, good morning, Mark. So there was a lot that they went over. They've got a lot of priorities this year. Uh, the big thing that I heard over and over and over from uh, a handful of lawmakers that talked about their legislative priorities, families first is the Democrats' agenda this year. They talked a lot about wanting to do things like cutting some taxes for everyday families. Uh, they were, you may, may, maybe have heard, excuse me, uh, something about the food tax, right? With revenues being down these past couple of months, there's a big question about whether or not that three-month food tax holiday is going to come back. Uh, but we'll see. There's going to look at that. Another one is education, right? We have this big uh, voucher scholarship program coming. They're going to try and bat that back with the help of some Republicans. And outside of that, there is a pretty wide array of what their agenda is. I'll let you listen to Karen Camper, the House Minority Leader, right now. Freedom to build life, a good life, earn a good wage, and benefits. Freedom to get a high-quality education. Freedom to see a doctor without going broke. Freedom to live in safe neighborhoods free of gun violence. Freedom to read books without government interference. Now, you maybe have just heard Karen Camper right there talk a little bit about education right at the end. A lot is going to be going on with education this session. I'll have more on it a little bit later. The ESA voucher scholarship bill got leaked yesterday. We have obtained that here at News 2. Stick around with us here later today. For now, I'll send it back to you all.